Hello and welcome to Next Q. I'm going to share with you my five cues on how to permanently eliminate bad stress from your life. I'm excited to share this with you. The first thing that I do is pray and meditate. Experts say that prayer and meditation will do these three things for you. Number one, it will help reduce your resting blood pressure. Number two, and I thought this was interesting too, it will help boost your immune system. And then number three, the best of all, is that it will decrease your anxiety. Now here's how prayer and meditation works. First, you need to focus on something positive. I personally prefer the Holy Scriptures. It helps me to put my mindset in a positive frame. It helps me to think positively first about myself and then about other people. Secondly, when I'm praying, I'm asking divinity to help me to act out what it is that I read and help inspire other people to do their best that day. And then thirdly, I'm asking divinity to be in control of the outcome. That way I won't have all this anxiety. I won't worry about what happens that day. Everything happens for a purpose. Second is nature. Nature is designed to relax you, to keep you calm absorbing the sunlight, getting that vitamin D, which is good for your bones and your teeth, inhaling that oxygen, <sighs> the smells, the sounds. The environment is designed to help you to focus on the moment, what's in front of you. That's why you have to come out in nature and unplug. Leave the cell phone behind. Just enjoy the atmosphere. Focus on right now. Forget about yesterday, don't think about tomorrow, just think about the moment. If you do this consistently, you will learn how to eliminate that stress from your life. Man, I love being outdoors, and I'm a kayaker, a biker, hiker. I love to do all these wonderful things that you can experience only in nature. It helps me to remain stress-free on a consistent basis. Woo, it's a beautiful day out. Number three is exercise. So stress causes our body to release adrenaline and cortisol. These chemicals are used to help us to deal with the fight and flight mechanism in our brains. It helps us to be aware and to be conscious of it, but too much of it can cause harm to our health. So what we need to do is burn off that excess cortisol. So what you should do every day is for at least 30 minutes rigorous exercise because if you have too much cortisol and adrenaline in your system I guarantee you according to experts the effects can be very harmful to your health so exercise every day consistently number four is rest I know this can be challenging at times but rest is critical when it comes to eliminating stress from your life so there are two aspects of rest that I want to focus on the first aspect we know really well is sleeping Experts say we need about six to eight hours of sleep and that aspect of rest is dealing with the healing process that our body must undergo and that's why it takes six to eight hours. Second aspect is where I think we struggle significantly. We are overworked and some people don't believe that there is a work-life balance but I disagree with them. The second part is dealing with rejuvenation and the only way you can rejuvenate is by refraining from those work and stress related activities. And so here's what I recommend. Spend 24 hours away from work or any stress related activity. I do it this way. I have it framed as my three C's. So the first C is I spend time with my creator. I go to church. I worship with other people. I do it in nature. There are various ways you can be creative about it. The second C is community. I spend time with friends and family and people in the community, sometimes giving myself to service projects. And the last one is I celebrate the moment, special events. But whatever you do, recognize that you need to replenish your mind, body, and spirit 24 hours consistently. And here's the challenge, every single week. The last thing I want to share with you is simply being kind. Experts say that when we are kind, our body releases this chemical called oxytocin. It dilates the blood vessels. In other words, they expand 
and it reduces the blood pressure, which ultimately protects the heart. Being kind doesn't cost us anything. In fact, it benefits us more than anything else. We can be kind every single day, saying a kind word, doing a kind deed. While you're thinking about being kind, put yourself in the position of the person who is receiving your act of kindness. And then think about that person as you think about yourself. That should inspire you and motivate you to be kind because you know how good it feels when someone is kind toward you. So be kind today. Listen, those are my cues. I hope that you follow them and practice them. Implement them today so that you can permanently eliminate stress from your life. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Please subscribe, like, and share. Help me to help as many people as possible to permanently eliminate the stress from their life. Next cue.